Okay, welcome back and thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about dual rates, uh, which in this case is not going to be dual, it's going to be three rates, and exponential or expo. So DR and expo um, means that the, there's multiple rates of the control surfaces, the maximum throw of each control surface, and the exponential is um, when you move the stick, it's going to, it, by default, it moves in a straight line. Uh, linear, okay, and sometimes it's nice to have a bit of exponential curve instead of a linear curve. Instead of a straight line, we have a, an exponential curve that curves up like that, and you'll see it on the screen, and so we'll show you how to do that. So I now have the, the um, um, flight mode set, and you can listen. Mid rates, high rates, low rates. Okay, so I'm on low rates, and it says low right there, and so I'm going to go in Click the, from the main screen, click once, and go down to, to the second item there that says DR and Expo, okay? And so what you do is you have the three control surfaces, aileron, elevator, and rudder. And uh, the first thing you do is switch, is select which switch you want to use. Well, since we're going to use switch B, um, I'm going to scroll down here to where it gets to the switch, instead of saying on, I'm going to click it once, flip the B switch, and, rates, rates. and it automatically selects the switch, and I left it back on low rates. And it shows you there on the bottom that what position 0, 1, or 2 the switch is in. And so that's low rates. And so I've got, uh, at the top here, I've got the aileron selected. Okay, so that's the aileron, and we'll change that later for the elevator and rudder. So... On low rates, I want the dual rate to be uh, 70%. So I'm going to click this 100% and scroll down to where it says 70%. Okay. And in the expo, and this is just from experience, I want that to be about 20%. And what that does is, is give you a bit more sensitivity when the stick is close to zero. And you can see by the curve there that if I left it at um, uh, the curve at zero, and you'll see that in the next one, okay? So that's, uh, there's a slight curve uh, with it being flat near the center position. So now, that's the aileron. I'm going to come up to uh, aileron, click it once, and switch it to elevator. And notice it says that the um, uh, expo is zero, and you see that as a straight line, so we're going to be changing that. But again, the first thing to do is to go down to the switch, and you always have to make the switch what you want. High rates, low rates. And, you know, you don't have to do it my way. You can have every, each switch being a different uh, control service. Some people like to do it that way. That's a little complicated for me. <laughs> Uh, I have used it that way before, but I don't like it, so I prefer it this way. So for the elevator, um, uh, on low rates, I'm going to change that to 70%. Okay. And the Expo at 20. Okay. So now the elevator at low rate is 70 and I'm going to go up to rudder and change the switch to B switch B. Select that and I'm going to leave the rate at 100% because on higher rates we do want 100% but I still want the expo at 20. Okay. Okay, so um, now I'm going to switch back to um, ailerons. Instead of rudder, I'm going to come back here so that the top up there says ailerons. And notice it says, you know, the dual rate curve zero, and we're still on low rates. Now if I switch to mid rates, you can see it's back to, um, oops, hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, so now it's mid rates, and it's back to 100 and zero. So you now don't have to change that. Instead of 100% and not 70%, I want 85. So that'll be 85 and 
And while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and do the high rates for ailerons too. High rates. So the high rates at at a at um, um, and that's already at switch B. And not sure why that is. I must have been messing with it. Okay. So now the ailerons high rate is 100% uh, and 20 expo. And now I'll go to elevator. Oh, I guess it's always that way. So, um, with the mid rate, notice the low rate is still 70 and 20. Mid rates, I want to be 85 and 20. Expo at 20, and always make sure it's a positive 20, not a negative 20. Okay, and then on the high rate, you got 100%, but we still want the 20% expo. Okay, and very quickly I'll go ahead and change the uh, elevator to rudder, and on high rate I'll change that to 20%. And mid rates I'll go to 85 for the rudder, expo at 20, and we're done. Okay, so now... You Okay, you can go through all nine um, possible combinations there and make sure they're all right. And uh, no, they're not. Uh, low rates, I forgot to set to 20. The 70, I'm 70% 70 on the rudder. That's why you check it and make sure. So you just verify that that's all correct, and uh, I hope I didn't go th through it too fast for you. Uh, you can watch it again, the video again if you need to. But it's simply now uh, set that the maximum throw of the control surfaces on low rates is 70, on mid rates is 85, and on high rates is 100% throw of the control surface, and that the exponential curve is set at 20% across the board for all of them. So uh, that's it for dual rates and expo. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned to the next video.